The area of Wacker Drive and Michigan Avenue is a bustling corner of Chicago. Over 200 years ago, however, it was the site of the humble beginnings of the city. The Treaty of Greenville in 1795 gave the U.S. government claim to a large amount of land, including a dubious claim to six square miles at the mouth of the Chicago River. In 1803, to protect the land, the government wanted to set up a fort to help establish the presence. Originally, the St. Joseph River had been selected, but the Native Americans would not allow it. Instead, the government sent Captain Whistler, along with 60 men, to build a fort at the Chicago River. The site chosen was on the south side of the river, just at the point of a bend, and was named Fort Dearborn. The exact location of the fort is questionable today. The widening and rerouting of the river poses a challenge in using it as a location device. The city itself has changed vertically as well, and the site today is much higher than it was in 1803. The soldiers constructed the fort with logs they carried by hand from the forest and floated down the river. Inside Fort Dearborn, the men built several buildings for daily activities as well as sleeping quarters. A map of Captain Whistler's shows what seems to be seven buildings as well as two lookouts. Daily life in the fort was not as exciting as we may imagine, however, and the soldiers stationed there complained of extreme loneliness and boredom. Although activities such as trading happened at the fort, a ship from the east only came once a year to bring news and take back any merchandise that had been traded. The fort only lasted nine years and although rebuilt again was destroyed in 1857. Despite its short lifespan, it left a lasting influence on the area. A writer in the Michigan Pioneer collection of historical publications says, We conclude that had the fort been built at St. Joseph, there would have been no Chicago.